You're listening to B2B Tech Talk with Ingram Micro, where we share topics that will inspire business growth and help you stay ahead of advances in technology before they become mainstream. This episode is sponsored by Ingram Micro Expantage, the game-changing platform that will transform your business potential and reshape how customers see you. Our next guest is sure to inspire and motivate you. Will Power Harris is an innovative social media influencer, and he's CEO of Will Power Consultation, which is which specializes in channel growth, and which is also at the forefront of social media marketing. With over one million monthly social media views, Will Power clients generate over three million in annual gross sales via LinkedIn. As a TEDx and two time UN delegate, Will has inspired audiences of over 700,000 annually. He's a prolific author of 14 books, including two number one international bestsellers in the categories of sales and motivation. I've known Will for over three years, and I'm so honored to call him friend. I'm here with Will Harris, and Will, I am so delighted to see you and have you join B2B Tech Talk. You are one of not only a wonderful partner to Ingram Micro, but I consider you a dear friend as well. Oh, and so, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Um, we've come a long way in a couple of years since we first started yes. talking, right? Yes, we have. I, and, what, uh, tell me what's going on. So um, in November was the first time that I spoke to Ingram Partners in uh, Florida with the one event. And from that period to now, we just engaged with um, a lot of partners. Um, and started working with them in two areas, which is digital marketing, helping them with social selling and having a different type of digital transformation where they take their LinkedIn profile to another level. And then we also started to do offshoring with uh, one or two partners now. Fantastic. So talk to me a little bit about LinkedIn because, you know, LinkedIn's been around now for a while. Yeah. What's different now? It's not now. Now we can say it's not your grandfather's LinkedIn. Right. Right. Because it's been around yeah. long enough. We could say that. I like that. That's your grandfather's LinkedIn. That's, that's, that's a good one. I mean, think about it. It's almost like Amazon. You remember what Amazon first sold? You remember Books. That? Books. Yeah. Right. Now Books. Amazon sells everything. And LinkedIn, when it first started out, mostly just work with helping people get jobs. Right. So our grandfathers, if they still have LinkedIn profiles, their LinkedIn profile looks like a resume, wherein now it's more about branding. It's more about selling. Um, so the future is now. Okay. When I said, and I had the wonderful good fortune of sitting into uh, your session at one uh, in Orlando, and you talked about scoring. Yeah. to see what your social selling score is. Talk, right. talk to us a little bit about that and also how people can benefit from knowing that score. Sure. So there's something called social selling index okay. score. And that is something that's done by LinkedIn. They monitor your use of LinkedIn. They monitor your connections as well as how you're interacting with people. And based on that, they give you a score. Okay. So anyone who hasn't checked out their score yet, they just need to Google social selling index score. Okay. And they'll be able to find out how it is and they'll see their ranking and their use of LinkedIn. Okay. So social selling index score. Social selling. And index. then they click on that and then what happens? And when they click on it from their browser, uh -huh. they get to a place that says get score. Okay. And when they click on get score, they're total number will come up from zero to 100, hopefully not zero <laughs> to 100. The higher the number, the better. They better call you if it's zero. <laughs> they better run to me if it's zero. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what we do is we help them to get their scores up by doing certain tactical things. And of course, those scores lead to a better brand. Those scores lead to more money because LinkedIn is a fantastic tool to sell because you get to almost read the mind of your ideal target client to find out where their heart lies, where their interest lies, and then you can customize the conversation to that. Why do you think more people are not doing this? Is it they just don't know? They are not spending the time, all of the above? I think it's all of the yeah. above. But I think, um, well, first of all, LinkedIn is the number one business networking site in the world by 
far mile, a country okay. mile. Uh, so everyone's basically on it, especially after COVID pandemic okay. hit. Yep. The challenge is people aren't on it, Nina, as their authentic self. Uh, they freeze up. Gotcha. They freeze up. I have seen some of the most exciting people. You look at their LinkedIn profile and you're like, wah, wah, wah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I try to um, talk to the partners, talk to everyone, and tell them you have got to be yourself. Be your authentic self. Show up. And people will start to embrace and interact with you. Interesting. I, I completely agree with you. I think no matter what, no I, no matter where you go, there you should be. You should bring... Okay. There you go. Where you go, there you should be. <laughs> so... I feel, and I've seen a lot of posts from people who I've always thought thought were funny and whatever, and then I read their posts and I'm like, hmm, hmm, mm -hmm. you need to insert a little bit of yourself in there. Yeah, yeah, they, they can be stinky for sure. Well, I, you know, thank you. Uh, I Pleasure. I have so enjoyed the um, the the session, but I'm going to pivot just a little bit okay. because I want to talk about something that I'm personally and professionally passionate about, mm -hmm. and that's the why the purpose, the reason why we wake up every day and do the things we do and why it's important not to share it because, oh, I want everybody to see that, you know, I give, but it becomes that true, authentic you that comes through that lets people know or makes people feel, I want to be part of that. Yeah. Right? Yeah, exactly. And, and it makes your associates follow you as a leader because they believe in that shared purpose and passion. Love it. So I want you to tell me how you sure. do that. Okay. What's the magic? So I think there's three different categories of people's use of LinkedIn. Okay. You have professional, and then an upgrade from that is thought leader, and then the upgrade from that is an influencer. A thought leader is someone who puts out a positive thought, who gives insight on the business, on the state of affairs across the globe. Um, it's where... If you have a passion for something, um, be it business or be it helping people, like my passion is humanity. I like anything that has to do with lifting people up. And LinkedIn is a fantastic vehicle for that, too. The reason why I agree with you and think that now more than ever, it's important for people to embrace who they are, what they stand for, what they're passionate about is because do you want to leave a legacy? And what legacy are you going to leave? Like, we're all going to leave a legacy. Just some are going to be good. Some are going to be bad. Some are going to be proactive. And some just reactively fall into it. So I have a, um, a saying that I have, which is use what you love to fight what you hate. What is something that you love to do that requires a skill? And then what's an evil and injustice? Something you want to fix in the world. And when you combine those two things together, that's you, you have passion. You love to fight what you hate. Mm -hmm. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. So people being more focused on, you know, why am I here? And yeah. what value am I bringing? Not just at work, but not just at home, but just walking around too. And when you are your authentic self 24-7, then it's almost like heaven. Everything works out for you. You take away all of the friction in your life. Yeah. We talk about transformation mm -hmm. and removing friction. Mm -hmm. When um, I, I agree with you. I think when you are your authentic self, those barriers that you create because you're not being yourself, right? right. You're throwing bricks in front right. on your road and right. you're having to jump over them and dodge them. But it just feels like it's seamless and smooth sailing. Yeah. And even when you encounter some obstacles... It's much easier to manage when you know who you are. The other thing that I notice, and I've been to a lot of meetings where people tend to not be themselves or they morph into somebody they think they're supposed to be in that room. And someone very wise once told me that when you do that, no one knows how to be because you're so inconsistent that they don't know who the real you is and they don't know how to reach you. Wow. Yeah. And yeah, so I thought, it. wow, that's really powerful. Same yeah. kind of concept, right? Yeah. No one knows how to communicate with you if you're constantly changing how you present yourself. True. And it's very tiring, too. Oh, gosh. Oh, yes, wait, it's got to be. On this mask. Yeah. Oh, put on that mask. I had a, uh, one of my colleagues, I was head of global sales training at uh, Motorola, 
and he came to me and he asked me, how do you keep getting promoted up and doing well uh, when you um, talk the way you do? And I said, I don't understand. What do you mean? He said, you know, you talk black. I was like, what? I talk are, black. are you kidding me? Yes, it's a true story. It's like, well, I never um, considered that I talk black. I thought I just talk will. Um, <laughs> but I will say that when you are your authentic self, this is what I told him, when you are your authentic self, people are going to naturally gravitate to you. When you are your authentic self, when you walk in the room, their guards drop down. You welcome people to be their self. And then you can get more business conducted. You can help more people. When you just show up you, when you're in a world filled with just fake people. I completely agree. And and I think people gravitate to that. Like yeah. to your point, it create is it's magnetic. We, we talk about magnetic personalities yeah. because they want to be that. Yeah. They strive to be that. They don't know how. They're connected to you because they yeah. want to feel that energy. And they, they feel how comfortable you are. Oh, yes. You're still more comfortable. I know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I think nice. also, Nina, to these people's defense, so many people are trying to take shots at yeah. others that they want to have their defense up so they don't get hurt. So being yourself, you may get a couple of shots thrown at you. But all the rewards that come from it is well worth I'd those. I'd rather take some shots all day long, go. right? And instead of the shots about mm -hmm. uh, not being myself, yeah. because you know I find that you know even as I'm doing some of these, you know there's there's some really amazing polished podcasters out mm -hmm. there that do such a great job. And all I know how to be is Nina. There you go. Right. All I know how to be is me, and um, and and my caring self and my curious self, because I'm always curious about mm -hmm. other people and how they live their lives and, you know, what makes them tick? Why are they in this business? What's their why? Yeah. So what's your why? My why, uh, sticking to use what you love to fight yeah. what you hate. What I love is I love helping people. I love education. I consider myself to be a teacher. I used to work for Zig Ziglar, who was a motivational speaker, but I don't consider myself a motivational speaker. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I'm a teacher that's so great it becomes motivating and inspiring. So I love teaching. And I would agree with that. And I would okay, agree good. with that. Um, just because I know you and I've seen you in action, I've also seen that you have spoken in front of millions of people in India. Yeah. Mm hmm Tell our audience a little bit about that. And I also want to understand, too, uh, so you you utilize your business somewhat as a platform so that you can help do uh, provide humanitarian support uh, to people who need it, especially in places where they can't have access to education or orphanages. Yeah. Talk to me. Tell me. Okay. okay. I want these people to know. It's so it, it sounds crazy when I say it, but uh, there are, are vi several videos on it. But in one setting, I would speak to 700,000 people live. So not on TV or podcast, but they are right in front of you where they go, you will feel it. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of people. And um, it's kind of interesting because when you're able to put a message out there to that many and hopefully have an impact on all those people at one time, just the love that just comes back from doing that. And I do that once a year in October. So this year I'm going uh, back to India to do it. We also... Will you put me in your suitcase? Yeah, you know what? I get... Yeah, I, I'll get one. And so you can get in it. <laughs> You're definitely welcome to come. Um, actually, I had a Verizon executive one year come over with me, too. But one year ago, we did the groundbreaking on our first of a hopefully 11 orphanages, where we take senior citizens and orphans and we put them together under one loving roof so that the senior citizens automatically, automatically have grandkids and the kids automatically have grandparents. So that, and it just feels good. That is, that's that awesome. Feels good. What a win, 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 win situation. And and for them to know that they've got a roof over their head and yeah. somebody who cares about them uh, and their future, that is amazing. Will, how do people get it? a hold of you? Where do they so, find you? They definitely can find me on LinkedIn, uh, Will Power Harris. 
on uh, LinkedIn, willpowerharris.com. If you just type Willpower Harris, it'll come up. Yeah, there's a lot of will out there. Yeah, there's a lot of will. There's Harris. a lot of good will out there. Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> How about that? There, there you go. I like that. Where there's a will, there's a way. We can go on for days. On and on and on. <laughs> well, you know, here we are at GCIS, and I know you've had a set, or you've got a couple of sessions, right? Mm -hmm, I do. So, and then uh, we were doing this, but how have you seen what? What's the vibe here? So the vibe here is amazing. First of all, it is a global event. So it's nothing to just be walking down the hall and hear Spanish or Brazilian Portuguese or Italian. Or Isn't it French. awesome? It is awesome. It's there's, like the whole world is here. There's more people from outside of the U.S. than the U.S. That's 100% right? true. 100% I mean, true. I, that is, it's incredible. I am, you know, being part of Ingrid Micro and, and being, helping to pull all of this together mm -hmm. It, it it really warms my heart when I hear people saying, did you go to that session? It was yeah. so good. Yeah. Do you hear this? You know, that, mm -hmm. that, that's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. And m my why is just waking up every day and go, how can I help somebody? Wow. How can I help somebody today? Great why. It's Great why. Will, thank you so much. So oh, Will pleasure. Howard Harris on LinkedIn, but you can Google him. You can find him anywhere. <laughs> so thank you so much, my friend, for joining Spot today. Pleasure. Thank you. You've been listening to Ingram Micro's B2B Tech Talk. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this episode and you want to continue the conversation online, use hashtag B2B Tech Talk.